Howdy campers and welcome back to Camp Crunch Labs. I'm Mark Rober and can you believe it? Today is the last day of an absolute banger of a summer we've spent together in space. And of course, we saved the best for last because after traveling through the entire solar system for the final episode, we landed back on my favorite planet of all, Earth. You can see the rocket is freshly landed, the moon is in the night sky, Sat Gus is now out of the rocket and perched once again above my bird seed, likely about to steal it. But don't get too attached because as is tradition for the final episode, we're about to destroy this place so epically with science, the International Space Station might just be calling up to ask what the heck's going on down here. Now on the off chance you've missed any episode this summer because maybe you were on vacation, here's how far we've come. From our first episode with Pearson and my nephews, where, I hate to say it, they finally legitimately beat me at something. To some explosive fire experiments, where we maybe lit some campers' hands on fire. We had fun playing with some epic lasers. Then had an absolutely insane, incredible nerf battle with my buddy Zach King. And then there was the week the actual Muppets basically took over the whole place. Did you see that? Yeah! And of course, sadly, and Sean Duras helped me define gravity. And then finally, in our penultimate week, we inflated and then popped 10,000 balloons. What a journey it's been. But by far, my favorite part of camp wasn't any of that. It was watching the at-home super challenges that all of you submitted throughout the whole summer. Believe it or not, we had close to 10,000 entries. So hopefully that helps you empathize with how hard my job is. So here are some of my favorite entries from the summer, along with some of my favorites from last week's balance sculpture challenge. Hello! Woo! And we are just ending the summer with a bang. Even on the final super challenge for camp, we had over a thousand entries. Got it. There it goes. And as usual, just the creativity was off the charts. to Crunch Labs. So this time, without the benefit of an assist from Mr. Beast, the pressure and the difficulty lies on me, but these were my favorites from this week's challenge. So if you're one of those, be checking the mail for some very special swag, including the official Camp Crunch Labs chairs that's been all over the universe is coming to one of you, along with some other cool stuff from the set. Assuming it doesn't get totally destroyed in a minute. Now, if you worked really hard in the summer on a few submissions and you didn't get picked, I totally get it. Because as an engineer, I know that feeling, like the amount of time it takes to pull off a crazy Rube Goldberg machine is just not captured in a one minute highlight video. But just like the old axiom says, the real prize, the real joy is everything you learned along the way. In the process of making and submitting your super challenge, you learned some of the very necessary skills for prototyping and tweaking and testing and experimenting. And most importantly, there's always next summer. So I can't wait to see what you come up with next time. And as a reminder, super cuts of all of your entries are available at campcrunchlabs.com. If you wanna be inspired, see your specific entry and you have seven or eight hours to spare. Okay, with all that said, it's time to meet our special guests. And the best part is this week, the special guests are also the campers. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, Hello, campers, welcome to Crunch Labs. There's supposed to be five of you. Back here. Oh, Eli, what the heck? Man, my snaps have really been off this year. Yeah, you gotta work on that. I gotta work on it. Good thing I didn't double snap, because you know what happens then. Kermit's probably busy doing something else. I don't know, Mark. That's pretty good. All right, tell everyone who you are and what you did. I'm Mariana, he's Kevin. We did the Mario Force Perspective, and it took a lot of work. How many hours do you think it took? Three days, maybe, because of the wow. weather, yeah. Did you guys know I love Super Mario Brothers? Yes. Yeah, we did. We knew it. Yeah. That was a dirty, dirty trick. <laughs> okay. And what you guys do? I'm Keaton. This is my brother, Lincoln. So we did the sack Gus in the diorama. Oh, yeah, that was the double whammy. Like an insane Crunch Labs Lego build. And then the sack Gus that actually moves with where the satellite is at real time. This is a miniature sack Gus orbiting a miniature world. Not only does it take actual selfies and has googly eyes, it even orbits above Earth in the exact same place as sack Gus does in real time. So I worked on the physical set gus that took the pictures and Lincoln actually built Crunch Labs. That was amazing. And Eli, what'd you do? I did the uh, Welcome to Crunch Labs flip book. That was really good. Are you an artist? Yeah, you can say that. You know what? I will say that. Okay. You just need to work on your snap appearances. Okay. That's not my fault that you landed in that bush. Well, that's debatable. All right, well, with that, let's head over to the terrestrial picnic table of infinite possibilities. I kind of change the name every time. Man, it's so good to be back on Earth. Gravity, it smells great. And of course, you guys know who my neighbor is, right? Yeah. yeah. None other than the great Size Bob Flugfelder. Is he home? He may not be home. What? what? Oh, he is hey, home. Hey, you're back. All our ships here. Sorry about last night. Did that wake you up? Very loud. He's a very patient neighbor. Are, are these the winners? These are the winners. Today's the day. Today's the day. Oh, I got some stuff. Oh, boy. Science Bob, always prepared. It is the final episode of camp. It is. So we got to go big. Big. Have you guys ever used these little party poppers? I have. Yeah, so it yeah. turns out the science of these is actually pretty interesting. You open one up. You get a little something that looks like this. Inside of here is two chemicals. One is called potassium chlorate, and the other one is red phosphorus. So potassium chlorate provides the oxygen, and the red phosphorus provides the explosion. What we're gonna do is set one off, Ooh. but out in the open. Oh, I love this. So you should all have uh, some safety goggles. Of Go ahead course. and put those on. Safety first. <laughs> safety first. Okay, Mark. So all you're gonna do is pull straight down on that. That's easy enough. Keaton, count me down. Three, two, one. Cool. That was cool. That was a little louder than I thought. Mm, it smells like the party poppers. <laughs> so I figured since it is the final episode of camp, instead of just one of these, we'd all do it at the Whoa. same time. Destroy the set time. By the way, who can explain to me how these actually work then? Because there's confetti in here somewhere, right? You saw what happened here. So why does confetti go flying? Because the air is pushing the confetti outside. Yeah, basically any explosion, it goes from a small amount of air to like a lot really quickly and it gets really crowded. It's like, look, we gotta go somewhere. The only way to go is up. What's in the way? The confetti. The yeah. confetti. The confetti goes for the ride. You guys ready to destroy the set? Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Eli, you ready? Sure. This is gonna be epic. Three, two, one. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Destroyed. We did it! That is That's fun. gonna take literally seconds to clean up. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for coming out, everyone. Uh, no. <laughs> No. No. No what? We're not done. What, Eli, what do you mean? We got more to do. You guys think there's more? Yeah, yes. there's always more. Oh boy, Bob. We're in a bit of a pinch. Let's yeah. brainstorm. <laughs> is there something we can do? Maybe there's something in the cooler? Nothing. Nothing. That's not helpful. <laughs> Wait a second. What am I thinking? Eli, you think of what I'm thinking? No. That's not helpful. Mariana, you think of what I'm thinking? No. Is someone thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> I am. Maybe. What? Let's set this place in a giant explosion. Let's, and how are we going to do that? A snap. There it is. Whoa. 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 Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That should be a little better. You guys have heard of elephant's toothpaste, right? Yeah. yeah. You've heard of devil's toothpaste. Uh -oh. Well, today we are interesting a brand new form of toothpaste called the elephant's trunk. 
Oh. Here's what's gonna happen even before the elephant's trying. The top of the rocket may come off. You might see a dangerous amount of elephant's toothpaste oozing out. That means it's gonna happen. <laughs> That's probably a good bet. So let's hope there's no campers in there. Oh, no. <laughs> then we have these confetti, feathers, ping pong ball, cannons that will all go off sequentially. You may see a fat Gus come flying through the scene. Oh, that That's awesome. At that point, so inside these three barrels will be elephant toothpaste. But when you go up the trunk of the elephant, what do you think that's gonna do? Kinda like spread out. In theory. And finally, the PA service installs two paint cannons that will launch 80 pounds of paint each oh. at 50 miles an hour across the set in a giant slug. With googly eyes. Of course, with googly eyes. <laughs> the last thing to do, fill up the last cannon. Miss. You miss <laughs> miss so much. Oh no, I'm making a mess. All right, well, without further ado, I think it's time to head behind the blast shield. Say goodbye, my backyard. Bye, bye backyard. backyard. And potentially my neighbor's science bobs, too. I just rebuilt it. Who wants to count me down? I will. I do. I feel like you all did. Okay. Five, Five four, three. Wait, don't hit the button. Zach! Hey, I'm still here. The I heck? Know. Zach, get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Classic Zack King. Let's try this again. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go! Oh, the rocket. Rocket! Oh, no, yeah. the oh there it is. Oh man, these are new shoes. Oh, it's <laughs> tripping. Wow, the ceiling's worse than last year. Oh, our logs. Here, everyone Lugs. gets a log. Yay, we got a log home. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, look. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Oh. That was my fence. I'm sorry. We're gonna split the cost on that fence repair, right? Fence repair? You need a yard repair. All right, campers, the bus is here. Go pack your sleeping bags. Get the heck out of here. Good job on being the winners. I'm gonna go clean up my yard. Yeah, yeah, get out of here. I am being rained upon. All right, well, that's it for this summer. Make sure you've got your build box or hack pack subscription. If you wanna keep the engineering fun rolling all summer long, and of course, subscribe to this channel. We've got some mega bangers coming down the pipeline, and then we'll catch you next year, right here at Camp Crunch Labs. Woo, this is a cleanup. Dang it! Really gotta work on these snaps. Stop that bus!